Mr. Martin Giles, directing um, Parlor Song right. for Quantum. And as is the case with Quantum, it's always site specific. And we are here in the old Pittsburgh Burger Company. Correct. So what is it about this play in particular that harkens to the history of the burger? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. But <laughs> it does harken to the 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 sort of the the mallness of things to the uh, to the to to like chain places and and modern suburban living and modern suburban you know like like this is we're at the waterfront so mm -hmm. it's like one of the complexes like the waterfront and I should uh, mention too that we are on set right now we are I didn't want anybody to think that this this was maybe your kitchen or something kind of you know? on set <laughs> uh, this but is this is nicer than my kitchen so what what was it that attracted you to this script aside perhaps from maybe Carla Boo's calling you up and saying have I got a job for you. <laughs> That was it. No, oh, okay. It. No, next that question. Wasn't it. No, we we started reading. Um, um, we, she had seen uh, this play of Jez Butterworth, the playwrights on Broadway, Jerusalem, which was a big hit a couple mm -hmm. years ago with Mark Rylands, uh, and she was really amazed by the play. And uh, we read five or six of his plays, and we loved them all. And we were like bandying them around and trying to <laughs> trying to figure out which one we lo we wanted to do. And then we, we ended up with this one because. It um, uh, to me, this one speaks to things that we that I think we we understand pretty well uh, in America. Not only the, the 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 sort of the setting, what's become of the land, you know, and uh, the development of things and the the loss of things, but also um, it's a it's a brilliant play about a about a, a marriage and uh, and. Uh, you know, husband and wife and the husband's best friend. So mm. <laughs> it's one of those one deals. Of those. So that's a kind of thing that, it, and it, but it ta it's taken a, it's, it, it comes from a different, slightly different place. Would you call it a love story? Yes, I would call it a love story. It's, it's, it's love gone odd. Well, love gone odd be because of because of the circumstances of, 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 of contemporary life, really. Mm -hmm. We have three fabulous actors. We have uh, Brendan McMahon, Sarah Silk, and Cameron Knight. No, oh, I think I relate to the husband the most. Uh, he he's a guy who uh, he he's a, he's soft hearted. He's he's really caring. He wants to he wants to hold on to things. He wants to make sure everything's all right. This is actually the fourth show I've directed for Quantum. Okay, so you're no stranger than to directing in odd <laughs> places. No, no. In fact, I prefer it now. Yeah, it, th this space has definitely shaped the production because it has these interesting features um, of, um, um, the, you know, le places you can see through to, to different places. It has, it has kind of like windows that we, we can look through into another room and... and uh, yeah, so it's given us a lot of ideas about how to stage the play. It's a language play. It's a it's a play where the uh, the writer is a is a pretty much a master of of the use of dramatic language, and it's just it's it's beautiful and really strange and and very funny. Yeah, I think that the audience there there are there are all kinds of things that the that an audience can get out of this play. Yeah, something yeah. for everybody. Something for everybody. Yeah, more than one thing for everybody. Well, good. Fact. Hey. They can expect to laugh. They can expect uh, uh, to be moved. They can expect to, to uh, have uh, have many thoughts provoked. You can see it starting November first. Do you yourself enjoy a good burger on occasion? I, I love a good burger. Are you kidding me? I, thank you. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> over there. The cue card was, yeah. <laughs> just slipped for a moment, but we're back, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Well, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I didn't come here to do that necessarily, no. but you never know where these <laughs> conversations go. The, the title might imply it is musical. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's not. You know, I love the tops of parking garages. And he's a bit of a loser, so, you know, I always identify with that.